Before I invite uh, Jodhri Faisal Mushtaq, CEO of Roots Millennium School, Pakistan, for his remarks, I would uh, just uh, request all panelists that there is no question and answer session because we are 13 speakers already. But uh, we are receiving so many uh, questions. I would just read the questions and any panelist who is comfortable with these questions, in, during their presentation, they can address them. And whatever the first batch of questions we have, I can just read them without replying or without uh, responding to them. Jodhri Tala Zafar Saab, I have asked sir, tell me about the medical colleges in Canada. Hamza Ayub Saab, kindly tell us about how to get PR through easy way. This is not the right forum for this question. Uh, I have done my bachelor's in uh, I have done my bachelor's in BS electronics and want to pursue my education in Canada. So I know SDS option, but the thing is that it requires investment of 10,000 Canadian dollars. So I want to know that is there any alternate way of applying for Canada without that GIC investment? And if I'm applying through regular channel, not through SDS, so can I use my bank statement as proof of my fund for studies? Now, we have a representative from Habib Canadian Bank. We have uh, specially requested him to join us today, uh, Mr. Ali Khan. Uh, perhaps this question will go to uh, his presentation. Uh, Naushin Jamil Khan, ne puchha, can, uh, does age matters? If already have uh, masters, can an applicant apply for the diploma? What is the process to apply? Apply to college first and then apply for the study permit and visa. Uh, my name is Aisha Javed. I'm Canadian national. I'm asking this on the behalf of my brother. He did his MPhil from Preston University and here in Canada, organization giving ECA are not accepting Preston University, although in Pakistan, ATC has attested all the documents. Shayad, we will webinar in the next webinar. We will also request this work for ATC. We will have more than our number of uh, uh, panelists, so that's why we can't include them in this time. Does STS program work for secondary school students? As Sharif Saab ne uh, How can we reach the panelists after this webinar? Ye Mahmood Tariq Saab ne puchha hai. Iska simple answer ye hai ki jo panelists uh, comfortable feel karte hain, wo abhi chat mein apne email addresses likhte hain. Jo nahi likhna chahte, it's their choice. Uh, it will be helpful. Uh, Akhri question, Asan Farhan sahab ne hai, I want to do PhD in clinical psychology from Canada. I got 3.51 CGPA in BS and 3.61 in MS and three year work experience. I want to take my spouse and a one year child with me. Could you guide me about the process in this regard? Uh, please solve the issue of Pakistan study visa refusal. This is not a question, this is so and now uh, I would uh, request uh, Chaudhry, Dr. Chaudhry Faisal Mushtaq sir, for his remarks. He is the recipient of Tamukha Imtiaz, a former education minister and a former minister for human rights, population and social welfare, minorities in Bethel Mall in the interim government of Punjab. He, he has been recognized as the, as the 500 most influential Muslims of the world for three consecutive years by the Royal Islamic Strategic Studies Center, Jordan. He is a leading national accommodation, education reformer, and social entrepreneur. Dr. Chaudhry Faisal Mushtaq has also been conferred on uh, an honorary degree of Doctor of Education by the world's leading University of Hertfordshire, United Kingdom, in recognition of his outstanding and exemplary services to education in Pakistan in September 2021. He is the founder and chairman of uh, Roots Millennium Education Pakistan is also the founder of and CEO of non-profit community development organization, Change in, Educa in Education Foundation, working in support of government, government and public sector education across education districts in Pakistan, the scaling Pakistan's commitment to sustainable development goals 2030. Today, yes, sir. I think uh, this is enough. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. O over to you, Doug. I think that, DG, my office has please overwhelmed you. Uh, with the introduction. I would like to thank you uh, very much, uh, the Council Journal and the High Commissioner and all the colleagues uh, there in Canada. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity you have taken the true advantage uh, of digital inclusion. Uh, one of the learning outcomes of post-COVID era is that we need to be digitally inclusive. So can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. So this webinar 
is part of that digital commitment and it gives rise to the new digital citizens contract uh, the challenge that i see as the grassroots educationist here in pakistan uh, the uh, canadian university application ecosystem is lacking in pakistan if you look at the models through by the if you look at the united states education model it's called education usa and then they work through the united states education foundation all across the country the foundations are linked to the embassies and they are, they have very structured activities both for the promotion of language culture higher education research and knowledge and health similarly the british bureaucracy works through the british council and it's a very well established uh, educational or profit entity works with government school districts and communities across the world and over the last 10 years we have seen the hanbar it is the chinese institute for language culture and arts promotion it's called the house of language hanbar so through hanbar through british council through the united states education foundation and the germans they have their dart organization it's the german higher education and education promotion organization and what we we what we do not see in the case of canada in pakistan the only scalable application center is ontario university application center ouac when students at the o levels and a levels and the metric and fsc level when they are doing college applications now let me remind you that some of my colleagues will also share with you counseling coaching and mentoring has become part of the mainstream pakistan a lot of people will say no no this is only in fashion in rich urban elite schools but not anymore a uh, counseling coaching mentoring is is picking up scale of course it's not there it's not available in the public sector or in the rural schools however in the mainstream cities now when students are going through the process of college applications university deadlines commitment essays personal statements there is no mention of the or no access to the canadian university application system mainly families and students families and students have linked canadian university application to immigrations so where i have seen from my uh, 20 years of experience i have seen all the, uh, the 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 upper middle class family backgrounds wherever the families they have an immigration mindset they say okay son or daughter why don't you apply to canada for one number two the visa regime for canada is very tough and is is not flexible number three the visa processing uh, the delays and timelines is also it's like the honorable member parliament said uh, it is being processed through uh, the udhabi regime and now now with you being on the sts route i do however speak to the we you have we have to create through the australian government an enabling access and ecosystem which is inclusive of equal opportunity within pakistan They you mean canadian government sir so what the 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 the, the primary responsibility is theirs to promote education in their country what you guys are doing is a step forward you are taking an extended responsibility through this webinar and discussion of course for all the right reasons in support of a national quest for being more globally inclusive in the research and the knowledge economy what you are doing in, through this webinar is unprecedented but historically and academically speaking it was the government's responsibility to scale the opportunity for students to study and i must say we have to create now if the government of pakistan is taking the lead on this then we need to have a more a canadian opportunity education fairs at the school and the college level there has to be a whole team may it could be to the department of trade and investment or it could it possibly it could be with some other higher education organization we need to see linkages and partnerships in higher education we need to see linkages in research but we need to see genuine student recruitment uh, uh, scalability students and families they have the disposable income to study in canada when people say the canadian education is expensive i disagree i i have seen in pakistan our parents they save money for three things they save money for hajj and umrah they save money for the children's education and they save money for their higher education our parents do not go on holidays 
that's their entire saving so higher education saving is always there it's just that that there is no enabling voice and there is no accessible and an approachable platform so we as the government if you have taken this initiative as the private sector we welcome the opportunity why should i put you under pressure so our education system and group 100 schools across the country we will give you the opportunity to you share all the collateral and information we will disseminate it to our students we will share it on our social media platforms on our apps on our html communications so we will support because we also feel that canada is a genuine educational opportunity and the experiences that our students they have had at studying in canada they are they are very good they feel that canadian society is very friendly it is very diverse it is very inclusive and lot of students our alumni they tell us that there are lots of opportunity for incubation for entrepreneurship and for employability so as a bottom line i think that there is a lot of space for pakistani education for pakistani students to scale applications however the system and the ecosystem thank you very much uh, excellent points more education fairs more a focus on research and education and exchange programs canadian education is not so expensive for pakistani parents because they have specially reserved some certain amount of savings for it enabling voice enabling eco ecosystem is needed and best offer was that private sector is ready to support uh, public sector efforts in in, in this respect perhaps the first step would be that roots and other school system and other our colleagues who are joining us today from pakistan they circulate the recording of this webinar through through social media through through their uh, channels 